Look at this, guys. We got a Chicago building with a medical office. It is sold for just 20 million measy dollars. Now, it's a building with over 100,000 square footage of medical office space, and it has a decent amount of occupancy because the uh, medical office space is 88% leased out. And the property was sold in 2004 for $90 million to the principal financial group. Now, this building also has almost 100,000 square footage of retail space, which is mostly empty with only 15% of that being occupied. So from 04 to now, almost about 20, 22 years of price appreciation, you managed to get a building worth 89 million down to just 20 million bucks. That is a pretty terrible investment. In fact, if you bought real estate in most places of the world back in 04 and you waited to now, you could sell it for an enormous amount of money. And by the way, this is not normal, guys. Okay, if you check out other major cities in the world, you cannot buy a whole entire office for just $20 million. Check out Singapore, for example, right? If you wanna get something that's just 291 square footage, you're paying almost 3 million Singaporean dollars, which is about 2.2, 2.3 million USD. You heard that right, 2.3 million USD for something that's a little under 300 square feet for something somewhere in the middle of the city. Whereas in Chicago, you could buy it in a pretty amazing location. You could buy in the loop area for literally pennies on the dollar. What's happening to Chicago? Why is Chicago real estate just becoming dirt cheap? So cheap to the point that $20 million gets you a whole building, whereas some places $20 million only really gets you like a medium-sized penthouse, not a whole building. It's simply because you have a lot of real estate taxes that will be implemented very, very soon. Many people are saying that Chicago should be voting down the Bring Chicago home bill because this will be implementing crazy amount of taxes for commercial real estate and residential real estate not that it really matters at this point because chicago real estate is already dirt cheap and sales are already down 44 percent but this will cause prices to drop even more oh you bought that for 20 million dollars well once that's implemented it probably won't be worth even $20 million. It could probably only sell for $15 million because you're going to be having very, very high transfer taxes. Anything above $1 million will be subjected to this sort of tax, which in my personal opinion is kind of unnecessary because usually these sort of taxes are done to cool off a real estate market, whereas the Chicago real estate market is honestly cold. It's not going up in price. It's not going up in terms of sales. And in fact, I think Chicago should be doing the complete opposite, doing different things to help get more investors into Chicago, offer more incentives, and make it even better for people and easier for people to buy Chicago real estate to get the prices up and rolling again. But of course, Chicago right now is focusing hundreds of millions of dollars on the migrant crisis, which could also be the reason why Chicago just simply does not have the money or funds to do anything else. And they may have to implement this tax just to raise a little bit of capital. And by the way, business owners and bosses are kind of done with Chicago as well. There's constantly mass looting. There's constantly burglaries. For example, between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. at least three liquor stores, a cosmetic shop and clothing store were all burglarized. And you got a lot of business owners saying that they're tired, they're exhausted. It's bad dreams coming over and over. They need help from the city, especially the leader of the city. Are they getting any sort of support? Absolutely not. And it sucks for a lot of these business owners who spend millions of dollars and hours and hours of their own time opening a small establishment to make money and just to get robbed. And are the people who burglarize these stores taken into account? Are they facing consequences? Absolutely not. We're seeing Chicago being super short in terms of police officers. We're seeing Chicago not really caring. You can have a hundred of these stores being robbed and nothing will be done. And no wonder a lot of people in America are thinking about going to places like Miami because they actually spend hundreds of millions of dollars instead of them on the migrant crisis on the city itself. And Chicago real estate will continue to get cheaper and cheaper by the day, and it will become more and more worthless, whereas some places around the world are getting more and more expensive. $20 million, guys. This is not a high amount for a whole entire building. And there's also like another building that's so far just $4 million, and it was like a quarter million square feet, maybe a little less than that, but it was also enormous. You get the point here, Chicago real estate is basically down in dumps. You have several buildings having new auctions coming up, but are people willing to bid for these buildings? Absolutely not. And there's some companies out there who know that prices are very cheap in Chicago that still refuse to buy it because they feel like it'll never go up in price ever again. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. See you guys later.